Hey everyone, in today's how-to video, I want to show you how to create filters and labels inside of Gmail and filters is going to help you clean up your email box over here and labels is really going to just help you with productivity and seeing the emails that you care about most. So log into the Gmail account where you want to apply labels and filters and if you look at the search box on top, there is a drop down right here that gives us a shortcut to this page where we could create filters. So I'm gonna show you that first and within filters, I'm gonna show you how labels work. And just so you see the actual settings for this, if you click this gear icon to go to the settings menu and then go to the settings tab here, there is a section called filters and block addresses. So that's gonna show you all the filters and block addresses. And there's a section called labels here that shows you all the labels that you've created and you could go ahead and show and hide these. Now we'll do this through the shortcut so you don't actually have to take all these steps in the settings. So let's go back to our inbox and we're gonna work with the search mail option on top. So this is basically how this works. You could filter emails from a specific person or company you could also put in the subject line. So if you get spam, for example, you could put a couple words from the subject right here, or it has the words. You could put those words in there. You also could filter this by size of the email or if it has attachments. Those are some of the useful ones I found in the filters page. Let me show you. I'm going to click off just to show you what I'm going to do with this one. So the email from Google My Business. I do want those, that's why I didn't unsubscribe. So typically you would unsubscribe just to keep things clean, but I want to read these at another time. I don't want them to hit my mailbox in the primary tab. And by the way, Gmail does do a good job separating emails between primary, social, and promotion. So it puts a lot of promotions in this box by default. But a lot of times things still hit the primary folder and I'm going to filter those out. So this is what I'm going to do. Instead of doing it from up here, I just want to show you what was possible here to filter things out. The same option is going to be inside of individual emails. So let me click this Google My Business email here. And here, if you press these three dots right here, there's an option that says filter messages like this. Click that. And this is basically taking you to that same dropdown I just showed you, except it basically puts in the words over here for me. In this case, a lot of times it will put the from email address. It will kind of just do the work for me so I don't have to manually type it in. But if I did want to filter things from a specific email or ones with a specific subject, I would just do that on the main page. But in this case, let me go ahead and leave everything by default and press create filter. That's what I want to do, not search. And let's go ahead and create our filter. So this is what a filter can do when you create it. It could skip the inbox and move it to a different folder for you. So I definitely want to do that in this case. I don't want this in my primary folder. Right after this, I'll show you the ones you do want to put in primary and label as important. Next, I want to apply a label. That's what we really want to do. I want to check that on also. So you can have multiple options over here checked on. And I'm going to choose a label. So I'll select that. And let's say I don't have any labels created yet. So I would just press create a new label here and it's going to say add the label name. So Google for business is what this was. And I'm going to refer to these emails later when I have time. And you could also nest this label if you want into other folders. In this case, I don't. I want it to be its own folder and I'll go ahead and press create. So now the filter has been created, but still nothing has happened. So I just have skip it from my mailbox add a filter to it until I press create filter, nothing is gonna happen. But I do wanna do one more thing. I wanna say also apply filter to five matching conversations. So again, we search specific emails from a specific email address. So if I do press this on, it's gonna apply to everything. That's what I wanna do. And there are other options that we'll talk about in a little bit. Right now, I'm gonna press create filter here. Now, as you can see, it moved those five emails out of my inbox and it put it over here to Google for business. If that doesn't happen for you, just click over to the new category that was created on the side, this new label. And you could see those are here. And if I go back to my inbox, I could see that those are moved. Now I still have Google for business emails. And in the case of Google is because they're using multiple emails to send me this email. So I could select this and create another group here to make sure it ends up in the same place. So I could go ahead and filter messages like this and move it over to that folder or 
Another thing I could do is in this case, if I click it, I could go ahead and just copy this email address here, copy, and I could go ahead and create my own filter here. So I will go up here, press the drop down, type in from, I would type in that email here and I will put create filter. And again, I wanna remove it from my inbox. I wanna apply a label to it. In this case, I already made one. So I'll just go ahead and add it to that. And I wanna apply it to 11 other matching conversations. So a couple of different ways that you could do this if they get away from your first filter and now I could press create filter. And now as you could see, they got this little label, Google for business is applied to them. And then if I come down over here again, press Google for business, it's gonna go ahead and take a second to update and all those emails now are over here. Now let me go back to my inbox and this time it looked like it got all the Google for business emails out of my inbox. Now I still have other Google products like Google Search Console is here, Google Analytics, so I could do the same thing and put them in different folders the same way. But now let me show you ones that you want to keep and you wanna label them important, for example. Let's say this one from YouTube, I really, I'm waiting for this email to come through, so I wanna make sure if YouTube sends me an email that I get it right away. So again, I'm gonna click on that email, and again, I'm gonna press the three lines on that email, and I'm gonna filter messages like this. In this case, it pulled from, and it pulled the email address from YouTube. So every time this email address sends me an email, it's gonna go to this new filter. So again, I'm gonna press create new filter. And this time I'm not gonna skip it. I do want this in my inbox. I'm gonna go ahead and star it. So it's gonna make sure I realize that it's important. I'm going to apply a filter to it. This time I'll choose a new filter. And this is from YouTube, or it could be from someone important like your boss, for example. You could go ahead and press create. Forwarding comes in handy. For example, if you get a lot of emails that have nothing to do with you and maybe a coworker should handle those emails, you could go ahead and add forwarding to that type of email so they would just get forwarded that email. You could just delete emails. If they're spam, I would just use this instead. And if you're getting something again from someone important, never send it to spam. So I'm gonna make sure that never gets sent into spam. I could always mark it as important. So I'm checking basically every which way to make sure this does not go unnoticed here. And then as always, I could apply this filter to other conversations like this. So if this email address send me many conversations or many emails, it will show up here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and press create filter. And as you can see, I only had one email that way. So let me come down here on the side and it looks like I created that filter. I'll go ahead and select that inbox and you could see it's over here, but is it still in my inbox? Let me go to my inbox and it is here and it is starred and it is marked important. And it has that label YouTube that we created. The nice thing about this label is I could change the color of this label. So I'll come down here to this YouTube folder. I'll press the three dots and I want to change the label color. You see this option way on top. See by default, it's just this dull gray, but I could make it bright red. So now look at this email. I have this, I have the star, I have the important sign. It's very unlikely that I'm gonna miss this email. And not only is it right on my inbox, it's also been moved to this folder that is marked red. And if you have unread emails in there, it also gets bolded. Like Google for Business had a lot of unread emails, so it's bolded. This is not because that one email, I've already read it. But basically using labels and filters this way, you could move things out of your primary inbox that are not important, and you can make sure the ones that are important pop up right on top. And one last thing I'll show you, I just jumped into another email over here. Those options that we talked about, like labels, they are also over here. So on top, you could go ahead and label things after you create your labels or create new labels here and make sure those are going into those folders. So that is on top of every single email in this box. And if you already had the other folders created on the left side, you could press move to, and you could go ahead and choose one of those options over here. So for example, this YouTube creator, I wanted to move it to YouTube. I could just press that and it'll just go ahead and get moved over to my YouTube folder. So now if I go on the side and go to that YouTube folder, you could see that I moved it over here. Now I didn't apply labels to it and this one I just moved, but you would basically use those folders, labels and the move tool to really organize your inbox 
And then on top of all that, you should always unsubscribe from emails that you're not interested in receiving. If Gmail is not doing a good job in moving it to your promotions tab, or you could apply filters and then just get rid of them so you don't see it in your primary inbox. Using this method, I keep my primary inbox completely clean. Now, this is just my YouTube Gmail, so I don't have many emails here, but in my other primary Gmail accounts that I use for work, everything is filtered and is exactly where I wanted it to be. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe for easy to follow tutorials just like this one, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.